you can pretty much buy your rebuild kit anywhere. eBay has them. I bought this kit from a seller named Trader Greg from eCrater.com. I think this is the most complete kit available. Uh, it cost me $55 shipped. Okay, so next up in our assembly process, you want to install the new seal on your turbine side. Okay, there it is. Once you have the seal in, you want to use some uh, assembly lube to install the bearing on the, the turbine side. Once you have the bearing and the seal on, you grab your new heat shield, place it over the center section, and slide the shaft into the center section. You're going to hear the, the seal click onto its groove on the center section. That's how you know it's in. There it goes. Once you have that in place, you, you work on the compressor side and install the compressor side bearing, again using plenty of assembly lube. The banger is in, so you grab the smaller of the thru two new uh, thrust collars, again with plenty of assembly lube and you place that in its place. Grab your new oil shield o-ring and place it around in its groove. So you want to grab your new thrust plate and install that. like so. Grab your oil deflector and your new, the larger of the two thrust collars, push it through first, like so. Then you can install the uh, new oil seal. Grab the new oil shield and the uh, oil deflector and you can slowly and carefully push the uh, seal through the hole. Just grab your um, oil shield and the deflector and you want to install it, make sure the deflector faces the hole here. You have the oil shield in, so grab your new snap ring or the old one. You can reuse that one, but I'm going to use my new one. And you can reinstall this one. When comparing the 20G wheel with the Evo 316G wheel, is you can definitely see the differences between the two. Um, I can already tell that the inducer will be larger on the 20G wheel by measuring it. I have an inducer diameter of 52.1 millimeters. 
and the inducer diameter of the 16G wheel. Forty-eight point twenty-one difference of four millimeters between the sixteen G and the twenty G wheel. Okay, so at this point, you grab your uh, compressor wheel. In my case, I have my twenty uh, G wheel, and uh, you insert it onto the shaft. After you have the wheel inserted, you want to grab your torque wrench and set it to one hundred inch pounds. I'm going to grab some red, lo red Loctite and drop a few drops on the shaft. And this is my new nut from the kit. And keep tightening it. You grab your new o-ring and place it around where the groove is. You grab your compressor cover, make sure you line up the tab, the indentation here with the clocking pin and place it in like so, slowly and carefully. Grab your um, your large clip and use your needle nose to install it. Okay, so you want to put your turbine housing back. You line up your uh, clocking pin right here with the uh, pin hole on the center section. You can feel the pin go in its place. Once you have your center section on the turbine housing, grab your V-band clamp and wrap it around the flanges to secure them together. Okay, you pretty much have your turbo all done. The last step in this process is to grab your uh, wastegate actuator, um, place it on the flapper arm down here, like that. Uh, grab your two 12 millimeter bolts over here and uh, tighten it up. Uh, your new uh, clip down here. That's it, your turbo is fresh and ready to boost.